water. Hey guys, Dragon Seer, I know you're free today, and today we are back in Fallen Lab, of course, with the brand new awesome mods. So let's just go ahead and jump right into them. First of all, let's get rid of this. So yeah, guys, we are back in Baba Court's uh, shipment map. Shipway, shipway map. <laughs> and as you see, it's, uh, it's a pretty big map, and, and he has actually uh, very well optimized it since the last time I was on it, like... It's running a thousand times better than it was before. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's crazy mod. So, first mod we got up here for today is the Kikoku, Kikoku Sword Mod. Now, this comes with obviously a sheath and a sword. And it has cool sword effects and everything. You know, you can do sword things, you know? Typical sword. But, you're wondering, why is it coming a sheath? Well, simply because... That's right, the sheath is actually fully freaking functional. I don't know why the character's physics is moving like this so much. Oh, <laughs> yes I do. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I thought that would fix it, but whatever. But, as you can see, you can swing it around. And then do a cool little, you know, the, you know, definitely has me excited for future of mods like this when people are gonna add like Dante and whatnot, type of swords, characters. But yeah, that's just one of the mini mods. So up next is the shovel made by May or my M A E. Now. This is just a shovel that works. <laughs> it's just a shovel that works. That's all I can really say. Sorry about that. <laughs> God, that was uh, on. But yeah, it's a shovel with good gripping. You know, it actually works, is the thing. Yo. What up, pal? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's not making the... Critical. There we go. We got him. What a shovel. Now let's just go ahead and uh, dig his grave. Yes, I'm digging through uh, concrete. That's just, you know, how strong I am. Anyways. And now that the grave is done with, on the more uh, pressing matters, like the next uh, mod we're going to be looking at here. So next mod is also by the same person, uh, you know, May. And uh, let's just go ahead. They made these cool dynamic seeds that can, well, do this. Look at that. Just spawn on over the environment. It looks pretty dope. It just keeps going for a little bit. And then, as you can see, they actually move. It's too bad they're not fully, you know, physical and dynamic because it would be cool to, like, be able to just move them along and whatnot. It would be cool if you could interact with them. But, you know, it gives you a nice, cool little environment, like, dynamic environment you can make. Well, not really environments but you know add some aesthetic to the map and whatnot without having to you know, see what these uh see what all these can do yeah uh, okay okay got a good amount going it's crazy like that it even goes into the ground and everything well, that's so cool. Let's go ahead and up. Oh, that oh. one will just do that, man. <laughs> oh, ah, there we go. 
Ooh, and we got some nice red and yellow ones. Nice. That looks sick. That looks so good. Let's go ahead and get some more here. Oh. Okay, it, it worked. It worked. There you go. But, uh, yeah, you get the gist of it. Pretty cool mod. Could definitely make some cool looking screenshots with this. The leaves are nice and animated, which is very sick. Anyways, on to the next mod. mod. Up next we got is the mod you definitely see at the beginning. This is the Flood mod made by, of course, Freaking Baba Corp. Now this mod is extremely cool. And uh, what you can do, you can set any, like, the limit is set to, like, for, say for example, if you were down there, it would start from down there and then go we'll come up. I don't know how far it goes up, but it's set to however high you place the item. For example, if I set it up here, it would start from up, like, somewhere down there, but it'll come up and go above me. And if I start down there, it'll you know, start from down there, so let's go ahead and uh, go down there real quick, and let's go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're back in it. As you can see, <laughs> oh, that's why I was doing that, okay. As you can see, <laughs> my legs are following me right now. But yeah, as you can see, my legs are a bit wonky, right? A bit dynamic, almost. Like, I can almost do something. Like, they're not really, you know. But yeah, this map is freaking massive, man. But, uh, obviously, you notice the uh, new avatar I'm using. This is the Korra mod, or Korra avatar from, well, <laughs> avatar, so. Yeah, but you got some cool little spots like the freaking gas station you got this cool campsite but a cave then you got awesome cool map parts like this it looks like you're about to freaking fight in a halo map like Valhalla I wonder what the heck Baba Corp's cooking up man then you got cool bunker areas like this that just have <laughs> underground stuff <laughs> Seriously, what the heck is Baba Court making? Yeah, here. Okay, big metal dagger. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think I can get past this. That's broken anyways. Oh wait, can you? Oh no, I was, I was flying. <laughs> That's why. And we're back, so let's go ahead and let's just put this at pretty much ground level and show you, you know, what this can really do. As you see, not much is happening, but if we go ahead and just, uh, hello, there we go. Fly up into the air, you can see there's pockets of water starting to rise. And rise. And this looks incredible. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, it just starts rising and rising. And it comes with its own cool theme music. Yeah, it does flood the entirety of the map. Well, let's just go ahead and look at how this looks real quick. Like, that's insane. Right, I'm going to show you in a second, like, how, how well flooded the map can be. Let's just go for a quick swim. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, guys. This is the wrong one. But yeah, once you're done, it just 
kind of just drains and there's like Bob Corp is <laughs> insane. Alright, and as you can see, as I said earlier, it just starts, you know, from, you know, pretty much like underneath wherever you put this. So, it can be very far down or it can be very, very high. I'm going to show you exact, exactly what I mean. So, let's just go ahead and uh, pretty much take a dip in the pool. So, whoop. Cannonball. As you can see, the entirety of the map is flooded, and this has actual swimming water physics. So you can actually swim in this mod, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy. That's crazy, man. As you can see, I'm just swimming around, and with this mod, this map mod, I can just. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go over this mod in a second. Sorry for any background noises, guys. But you can just go in here and just boost around. You can see it's super foggy at the bottom, which is crazy. Look at all that. That's crazy, man. Now I think we'll really improve this mod if it has like a uh, a limit you can set. So if you want to add water to a certain map or anything, like that would be insane. But yeah, this has full physics too. Like I'm not the only thing affected by the water. Oh. 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 Okay. That is news to me. I did not know you can actually drown. <laughs> that is sick. You got a drowning into this. Alright. Let's go in for a swim. That's my leg. <laughs> I don't know if it affects the cars. It might be too heavy. I heard something though. Sounds like they're moving. Let's, uh. Oh, they might be affected now. You might have to get, like, close proximity or something. Yep, you have to get the close proximity for stuff to be affected, which is pretty cool. You could definitely use this. Uh, I know it would be another cool thing if we made a, uh, uh, like a zero gravity type like space mode that just turns everything into space. <laughs> I don't know. Just an idea. That's crazy. I did not know you can drown. Let's see. Are the cars affected at all? Um. Yep. I, I definitely say they're affected. Uh oh. What is that? Hey guys, well as you can see here, after I get out of that car, nothing remains, like nothing is... I think the water's still rising. That's crazy. The water is still rising, actually. I don't know if you can see that little, like, piece of the mountain down there, but it's, it just got swallowed up by the water, so... You can play some very intense game of Escape the Flood. <laughs> Like, imagine you're driving a car and you have to go all the way up to the highest mountain, which is this one apparently, and escape it, escape the flood. But, there's an even more intense game to play. So let's just go ahead and dive on in. Now, before we get into the last couple of parts of, this, of the mods, uh, I want to go over this one that you've been seeing the whole video, which is... The uh, weird ragdoll mod, which allows your character to do cool ragdoll physics like this. So pretty much, there's this one that tuggles your legs and whatnot, so you can turn it on and off. 
correction, this is the one that tuckles your rig body, which is very interesting. So, there you go. Look at that. This one tuckles your legs and whatnot, as you can see. Which looks very sick. And it's very good for that, uh, soup mat. Superman physics, as you can see here. Just full on sins. <laughs> Kinda almost do like a ragdoll effect. <laughs> Looks like we're just f just got sent flying. Out of the way. And yes, you can fully grab your legs and move them around and use them as weapons. Kind of. As you can see, it looks very cool. Very cool, very wonky, very awesome mods. Let's go. Oh, huh. okay. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the second to last part of this video. That being, well, part of this mod actually. So this is the lava flood. Ow. So you can go ahead and just spawn us in, grab this, and you can just... Well, this one's going to be harder to turn off, so I'm going to actually keep this with me. As you can see... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I, can I store this? I cannot. Uh-oh. Uh, we, we gotta get the high ground. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Ooh, and there we go. It just started, too. As you can see, lava just starts flowing up, and now you can play the world's biggest game of hot. The floor is lava. Hey, look at that. It's crazy. And this does work with fusion I believe so you can <laughs> go ahead and jump in game with your friends and just see how uh, who can survive the boiling pools of lava coming across the map. Definitely see this mod being improved a lot with like adding time scaling and height so you can set a limit and whatnot. And I think that would be pretty cool. But, you know, it's Bob where he does what he does. Makes the most outlandish, out there mods. And then some of the coolest mods. Yeah, you can definitely, definitely outrun this. Like, 100%. It's crazy. Now, of course, if I went to the tippy top and spawned it in, it'll be just like the other mod. But here's a, uh, here's a difference. Unless I'm completely wrong. Oh, we dropped into it? Hold on. Well, it might not affect us right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if this does work. Maybe not. Unless you have to get lower? Strange, I could have sworn this was killing me earlier. Huh. Interesting. So it doesn't seem to actually do anything, which doesn't make sense. But it's still a super cool mod. Pretty sure I can be coded to do that. Alright, so let's uh, get to the last part of the mod. Alright guys, well sadly we're going to have to cut it short because uh, unfortunately the Firefly mod doesn't fully work, apparently. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, the modder said that they couldn't get it to work and like even the flying mirror mirror hammer stopped working, which is weird. Um, to that modder, if you're watching this video, you probably already, you know, caught it at the beginning of the video, but, uh, maybe, uh,
Okay, that went to the ground. Maybe try using this as a, I don't know, baseline for the jetpack, because, well, this works. Yeah, if you catch this video and, you know, you're saying, like, none of the flying stuff works, maybe switch to this and see if this will work. You can also use uh, Bobacorp, well I don't know, you can ask Bobacorp if you use his hover bike mod as a baseline for your mod, so, for flying, so. just a suggestion, but anyways guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, hope you all enjoyed it, if you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, we'd like to, you know, see me do more videos on in the near future, and I uh, want to keep this channel alive, keep it going, you know, support me down on my... As always, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and as always, remember to take a step back and enjoy life, guys. Alright, peace.